Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is The War Train here, and in today's video, I can't wait to show you guys my newest gaming pickups. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing. With that said, let's check out these games. So the first thing I want to show you guys is some artwork I got from my local GameStop. My good buddy Dan came through again. This guy is always hooking me up, which is some awesome stuff. Now this first one here, it's not complete. It was for the Lego Star Wars game that came out. And he was asked me if I was just interested in these uh, slim pieces here. And you'll see what I mean by slim. Um, right here, <laughs> you see the Star Wars title crawl kind of go in there. But as I kind of lift these up, you see the characters. Um, pretty freaking cool. We got Grogu. And it shows the game on the one and one of the uh, stormtroopers or whatever kind of trooper that is. But just really, really freaking cool. And I just couldn't turn that down. It'd be something cool to put on like the, each side of like a door or um, some other kind of Star Wars display. So definitely couldn't turn that down. I can tell you that. And this next one, absolutely massive. Now this is in two pieces. And this is for the new game that just came out, The Quarry. Um, really freaking nice artwork. I absolutely love this. Just so big as well, as you can see. I'm trying to hold this thing together so you guys could get a good look at it. But just really freaking cool. It has um, all the main characters in the game, all the different actors huddled around the fire and stuff, which is, you know, basically reminiscent of some of the stuff that is in game. And this next one, by far my absolute favorite, and probably one of my new favorites out of all the artwork that I have from GameStop. I mean, this is amazing looking, this one, especially in person. Um, another two-part one. Let me try to hold this up for you guys. And that is for the Mario uh, Strikers Battle League. And it is just absolutely stunning to look at. There's so much freaking detail on this. Yeah, just absolutely gorgeous, guys. I love this one i would love to get this put up on my wall um you know very easy to kind of piece together i just need something big to kind of hold it but man i almost need to make something just to keep that thing together it looks gorgeous in person all right so that was the artwork that i got from my buddy dan but he didn't stop there. He also gave me a game. He gave me a PlayStation 1 game because me and him got talking. I don't have a big PlayStation 1 collection. Um, he obviously has a lot more PS1 games than I do. So he asked me if I would want one of his doubles. And, and when I heard what game it was, I was like, oh, hell yes. Absolutely um, an RPG, one that I am really, really happy to have. And he gave me... Um, the it came with the original like box or whatever because it's a multi-disc game um, He didn't have the artwork or the manual. It was just the loose games But like I said, he did put it in a, in the the right correct case for it And you know, he did print me out some artwork for it for it Which was really cool as well, and that is the legend of Dragoon So really really happy to have this like I said he printed out the artwork which is just cool that he did that just adds a little extra touch and just, you know, it's better on the shelf because you know what game it is. Uh, but yeah, nice having the right case because this game has four discs. So open up the back side and there's the other two. So yeah, it's crazy to think, you know, these older systems had so many discs just for one game. But <laughs> that's just the way it was. So yeah, really happy to have that. And uh, Dan, if you see this, thank you. So this next one I have here is a Wii U game. It's one that I already do own. It's a variant. I uh, have the best seller of this game. So when I seen the original version, complete, in nice condition, for a good price, I had to pick it up. And that is for Super Mario 3D World. Um, 3D World is one of probably my, one of my most played 3D Mario games. I have spent a lot of time on this through the years. I played it on the Wii so many times. I played it on the Nintendo Switch. 
Um, I just have so much time into this damn game. Um, my kids growing up, they both played through this game with, with myself and it's just a freaking blast. The game looks great. And to have a another copy of this, I have no problem with that, that's for sure. But yeah, happy to add this guy with that you know variant. And this next one is one I did not have in my Wii U collection, so it's nice to add another game um, to cross off that list. And this one looks to be a lot of fun. That is Avengers Battle for Earth. This also complete and excellent condition. As you can see, but yeah, really happy to add that guy to my Wii U collection. Now this next one I picked up at GameStop as well. It was a loose copy, but it was at a really good price. Probably a price, honestly, I, you wouldn't just find. Uh, so I, I couldn't turn it down, even being a loose copy. And I did just put it in a, a, a spare DS case that I had, as you can see. And that is Pokemon Black Version 2. I mean, these games are so damn small. Not much to display there, but uh, yeah, really freaking awesome that I have this. Now I just got to look for the artwork and stuff. And some of these other ones, because honestly, I do not own any of the other black or white uh, games or the version 2 white or any of that. So uh, definitely ones to look out for because these games are just always going up in price especially the DS ones for whatever reason they have really been jumping up in value so the next games I got here are some Nintendo switch games and this first one here one I passed on a lot um, I was really just waiting for the right price it finally went down to a price I was willing to pay and that is story of seasons friends of mineral town I guess this was a game on like the GameCube or something, or I think it was the GameCube. And you know, they put an HD version on the Switch, so I had to pick this guy up. Now this does come with like a uh, little art book or something in there, so pretty, pretty cool. And this next one is one I actually uh, pre-ordered. It's in, you know put out by I Am 8-Bit. I like the work that they, those guys are doing to put out some really cool games. An indie title with a unique art style, and that is Eastward. Like I said, I had this pre-ordered, so happy to have this guy. And this next one is one I had to pre-order. Um, when I first seen this, I was like, oh, definitely. I pre-ordered it immediately, and that is Pac-Man Museum Plus. Has a ton of great Pac-Man games on it, just tons of arcade Pac-Man games. Um, it has like its own little arcade that you build and customize. It's pretty freaking cool. It's pretty cheap as well. This game is also on Xbox Games Pass if you have an Xbox. Um, I probably won't even open this because it, you know this game when it launched, I seen it was on Game Pass day one, downloaded it and started playing it. I've already put quite a bit of time into this game. Um, I, I unlocked all the different games pretty much in the first couple hours because I just went through them to check all the different ones out. Some of them I had never played. So really, really awesome Pac-Man collection here. The only downside to this is there's no Miss Pac-Man, but it is a, a Pac-Man game. So yeah, happy to have this uh, little collection there on Switch. This next one I do already own for the PlayStation 5. Um, this is a anime turned game. My daughter had me watch this and I started watching it with her, I really enjoyed it. My son actually started watching it with us and now it's something we watch together. Fantastic uh, little show and that is Demon Slayer. Really, really cool. Had to pick this game up on PS5 and had to get a copy of this for Switch. So really happy to finally get this guy. And this next one was an absolute must. As soon as it was, an, it was announced, I pre-ordered this. And just like the artwork I got, it's for Mario Strikers Battle League. Absolutely stunning looking game. It's cool to see, you know, new versions of some of these older titles, especially since the last uh, Mario Striker game, I believe, was supercharged on the Wii, which I do have. And uh, yeah, it was time to have an HD uh, version of this game. So pretty freaking cool. 
And the last Nintendo Switch game I have here is one I pre-ordered a little while back. This game came out in Japan a while ago, and that one was Cotton Rock and Roll, and this one is Cotton Fantasy. Kind of glad they changed the name, but this game looks absolutely awesome. Uh, stunning, stunning artwork. The gameplay looks like it's an absolute blast. Uh, what's cool too is they incorporate different uh, gaming you know, franchises in this game. So not only can you play as Cotton, you can play as some of these other characters. And each uh, one of these other characters has a stage of their own. So it kind of mixes up the gameplay just with the uh, aesthetic and stuff. Uh, so really freaking cool. Glad to finally have this uh, Cotton Fantasy in my collection. And the last game I got to show you guys is for the PlayStation 5. And again, just like that artwork, I have the quarry. Um, I had this guy pre-ordered. I had to pick this up. Now, this also did come with a uh, poster when you pre-ordered it. So I got that. But like I said, I already got that huge one that is stunning to look at. Um, you know, just a smaller version there. But yeah. I've been playing this game. It is a lot of fun. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with the, the games like this, it's basically from the creators of Until Dawn. That's on PlayStation 4. Me and my daughter have been playing that game, and when I, you know, found out more about this game and what it was, and that it was that style of game, I had to pick this up. Me and her are playing this together right now, and it's freaking cool. These games are cool. I mean, it's basically like watching a movie that you get to jump in and control and uh, make choices and uh, just there's a lot of different outcomes uh, and it's like you could have all your characters live or all of them die unfortunately we lost some people already <laughs> which sucks but you know you'll have that make some wrong choices and that could be the end of that character you like but uh, yeah really freaking cool I want to say I seen an interview um, about this game from one of the developers I think it was the writer of the story and he said there was something like hundred and sixty eight different outcomes so that is absolutely awesome um, can't wait to finish this game and just start it over and make some different choices but that's my pickups guys I hope you enjoyed them let me know in the comments what you think uh, you know you playing any of these games or have you picked any of these up I'd love to hear about it but that's the video until next time guys thanks for watching